Hello, hello, Just Gem here and welcome, or indeed welcome back to my channel. It's dark, it's, it's nine time, it's almost 10 p.m. and I've had a day uh, filming this video. <laughs> it's, it's literally been a day at this rate. But today the focus is on the By Beauty Botanical Palette. And if you wanna see how I created these two looks on my eyes, We'll uh, jump back in time a little bit when it was daylight and I will show you how I did it. But before I get into the eye looks I will insert some swatches so you can see what they look like and then after that we'll get stuck into these two eye looks. Enjoy! Here are the 20 swatches of the Botanical Palette by Beauty Bay. giving my arm a little wave so you can see the shimmers. Yeah, so the standout shades for me are Waterfall right here and that's next to the green myrtle and Lightning here is beautiful and then I think the next one has got to be Canyon which is this shimmer shade here and then I mean I've got to give a shout out I mean even um, Ripple here basically the shimmers in this palette are stunning all of the shimmers are stunning so if you've ever bought a Beauty Bay palette before, you'll know that it comes in a larger box. So this is the outer box for Botanical. And then inside it's got some bubble wrap in there to keep the palette inside protected. And then within that is the palette itself. So this is Botanical looking all shiny and new not even swatched. Gotta love a pristine brand spanking new palette. But I think we know the drill by now. Well hopefully, some of you might not, but I like to do one look on each eye to hopefully demonstrate some of the versatility within that palette. And excuse my lighting situation, I film with natural light and suddenly in England the sun wants to be the star of the show. Um, I'm now looking a little bit washed out but hopefully a little cloud will come over just, just for a little bit to get my lighting back to how it was before. In the meantime I'm going to crack on. I'm going to avoid like the plague that purple shade because <laughs> I don't know what it is about me but I'm a bit of a magpie for the purple. Um, something that caught my eye, so there's like a little quadrant of shades here that I think might make a really good look and they are sea moss, savanna, canyon and oak. I'm going to zoom you in and we'll get started. So today I have prepped my eyes but I haven't actually put any base on because I have another video planned to film in between. So no base, but I have prepped my eye, both eyes, not just one of them. I've prepped my eyes and I've used my Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. So I will start with my left eye with a Zoeva 231 in the corner here. This arrived super speedily. I ordered it on Friday which was the launch day and it arrived on Saturday in within 24 hours of me placing the order and that's without me even requesting next day delivery. This isn't too far off my actual skin tone to be honest, just a little bit cooler than my own skin tone. So I'm kind of outlining the shape that I want and then I'm going to use CMOS I think to blend that out. So I haven't swatched this yet, I kind of like to do a, well not that I like to, I seem to be doing a bit of a potluck at the moment where I just dive straight in 
and then I do swatches afterwards and then hindsight's always interesting and it's like oh maybe I should have paired these together but I think it's quite fun this way just to dip in and see I probably didn't need to go back into oak and the light has changed again now I'm going to go in with something like a Rever 13 not even something like a Rever 13 an actual Rever 13 and I'm going to dip into sea moss and use that to blend out the edges. So for the time being, stamping it a little bit across. And then I will focus on blending it out some more. So it's very subtle. Oh, this light is doing my head in. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. I might just, maybe just one more dip. Little circular motions. And then I think what I'll do is I'll use the same Refa 13 and just see if I can deepen my crease with a bit more oak literally right in the socket area oh this sun is the bane of my life today i wish it would make its mind up i really do in out in out it's like doing the okey cokey with the clouds today and i could really do without it yep i'm quite happy with that i'm happy with that blend now a shimmer a canyon which looks rather pretty and I'm going to try to keep that towards the outer, sort of outer corner to middle because I want to leave space for Savannah. That's nice. Oh the sun's coming back! Woo! And I like to use my little finger because I think you get the best colour payoff using your finger and more precision when it's your little finger. And then I'll go back in and I will tidy it with a brush as well. That's, that's nice. I like that a lot. That's a very, very pretty shimmer shade. 237. Zoeva detail shader and I like to use that as an inner corner brush I'm going to go in with Savannah and let's see how that performs without wetting a brush let's see if I need to wet the brush I mean it's 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 there but we're gonna wet the brush Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. I don't know if I should do my under eye now. Well, I'll do my under eye out now, but I might have to go over it once I've done the rest of my base. But I tend to just use the deepest shade, which is Savannah. And run along. Because you can't really see that, I wonder, again, see that purple would look really good in that under eye, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. I'm going in with the purple. It's taking that right up and almost smudging it in with oak from earlier so on my other eye i am going to go green and i'm going to go in to myrtle okay that's a very nice shade of green so i'll probably pack it first then once I've packed on enough, then I'll probably start to blend. And I think I might blend out 
ever so slightly with matcha. And I'll show you matcha momentarily. That's nice. I like this shade of green a lot. If anyone knows of brushes that are apply like refers but don't shed as much, do let me know because as I've mentioned before, I do really like refer brushes but I don't like the shedding. So there's matcha which is a very light green which I'm just going to take to buff out the edges of myrtle there. So I woke up this morning and I thought to myself right yep yeah, I'm gonna film and got myself all ready like prepped my lids and then I remembered I had not charged my battery and last night when I got all yeah so even last night when I got into bed I did think to myself you need to charge that battery and then I was like do you know what I'll remember in the morning it's fine I don't need to get up again and charge my battery. Did I remember this morning? Did I? Uh, so got myself all ready to film and then realised that I would not have enough juice in my battery to film anything of length. So then charged my battery and this morning into the early afternoon had a major blitz of my downstairs open plan area. Actually I really like that actually, that's a very good combo. I like that. That's... Myrtle blended out with matcha. When it comes to the shimmers to put on, I feel a bit spoilt for choice. I think I'm going to do Amazon towards the outside, Artichoke in the middle and then Waterfall as an inner corner. So Waterfall is, um, it's got a shift to it. So let me see if I can focus on these. Artichoke, that's Waterfall and that's Amazon. Right, Amazon towards the outside. Oh, seriously, sun, make up your mind. Make up your mind. Artichoke. For more towards the inside and the centre. That's, I hope you can see that the way that I can. So I've got to interject it. I, mean, I know this is a Beauty Bay botanical review, but obviously in my last video I looked at the Cool Trolls palette and I mentioned how I was a bit disappointed with how two shades appeared on the lid. And I was watching a Morgan Turner video and she mentioned something about how sometimes with shimmer shades, because they're so shimmery, sometimes it's hard to detect to differentiate tones that are similar when they're on your lid. So I can just about see that, like to me that's super, super sparkly and fits perfectly for the center. Whereas Amazon is a bit deeper. So they've still got the sparkle. So I might try and, I've got a little bit left still, Let's put a bit more. So I'll go back in and just go inwards here with Amazon. So I think while I was a bit disappointed with how those two shades, the names have escaped me, I think one was called Glitz, I can't remember the other one, but I was a bit disappointed that there wasn't enough of a contrast, but in hindsight I think maybe they were supposed to be more complementary than contrasty. I'm still learning, I'm still learning. But yeah, I mean this green look, ooh. That's nice. 
And then for that inner corner, because you've got to have an inner corner pop, we're going to have waterfall. So again, we'll see how it performs without any spray. And if it needs a bit of help, then obviously I will go in there with a wet brush. Seems to be doing pretty well. I'm looking at this shade in the pan, this is not the shade you would think would come out. But it is very, very pretty. I think I probably will go in with Myrtle and I'll kind of deepen that up and take it under. Okay, I'm going to do my base and finish off and all the rest of it and then I'll come back, tidy this up a little bit and give you my final thoughts. I am back, my face is complete and I am going to give you my final thoughts on this palette. I was a bit dubious about some of the lighter shades in here but now that I've swatched them I think I'll be able to use more of the shades in here than I thought. So I think Lily is probably out of the question. I, I don't know what I would use Lily for. Um, or if I did use the Lily, I don't think it would be with any of the shades in this palette because it's just too light to use it for anything I would want to for the rest of the shades in this palette. And then the other shade which I think is quite light is Mushroom, which is this one right here. Um, I don't know how much I'd be able to use that, but... Um, this one here, which is called Ash, which I, 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 um, I bagged earlier, but now that I've swatched it, it's actually deeper than I thought it would be. But Ash and Mushroom are, th I think, are shades that I would be able to use. So Mushroom is this shade up here. So they do apply and swatch deeper than they look in the pan. Oh, they're not, I might, actually, let me just, let me see if I can turn, no, that's the wrong way. Just wanted to knock it down a bit, so yeah, that's better. You can see a bit, the shades, a bit more accurately now. The shimmers in this palette, I think, are some of Beauty Bay's best. I mean, Beauty Bay shimmers, to be fair, are pretty spectacular and uh, these are no exception. Waterfall, I don't know, in the pan it's got this weird bluey hue to it but it shifts gold. Editing gem here to try and show you what I mean about waterfall because my main camera refused to play ball. It's just beautiful and lightning is just this bright shock of silver. It's it's really, really stunning. I'm looking forward to using that and putting that on my lids. I imagine that's something that I would use as an inner corner highlight for a more cool toned look. Beautiful shade. And then Ripple is just like this stunning pewter type shade right here. Um, so yeah, looking forward to using that. So maybe next time what I might do is a look focusing on these four shades here, like quite a cool toned look. Maybe these and Mushroom. It'll be interesting to see what they look like together. £16 for a £20 palette of this quality is just outstanding. I don't know how Beauty Bay does it, to be perfectly honest because having just reviewed two palettes from Cosmic Beauty and those are £28 each, also £20, those are 
the most reasonably priced sort of indie brand palettes I've come across. I don't think anyone's cheaper than that. If there is anyone cheaper than that, do let me know in the comments. But off the top of my head, from the indie brands I've tried more recently, Cosmic Brushes is killing it with the price point. Beauty Bay just knocks it out of the park, really, with the quality of the shadows that they produce at the price point at which they produce them. The way these shadows perform, it makes you wonder how luxury brands can charge the prices that they charge when you've got a £16, £20 palette performing on a level. I mean, I alluded to it before, but I'm a lot of the luxury brands are losing their shine to me. Not even just the luxury, like the mainstream brands, like <laughs> I'm going to say Urban Decay because I've got Born to Run here because this is probably actually one of my favourite Urban Decay eyeshadow palettes. I think it's stunning. I think it's a really versatile palette. I think it's... It was kind of... So Urban Decay had kind of peaked and it was kind of going on the way down and then they released this and I think Born to Run is stunning. And the reason I've pulled it out is because Born to Run and Botanical are in fact, they're quite similar. They're giving... And maybe half sisters or cousins perhaps. Uh, they're definitely giving similar vibes. But uh, yeah, I mean, the reason I mentioned Urban Decay is one, because this palette has similar, a similar colour story, and two, because what are Urban Decay giving us these days? Like, genuine question, what are they giving us these days? Urban Decay, I'm trying to think what other kind of mainstream... Like, I'm not even... I own Huda palettes, but I never tend to reach for them. Those are at a price point which I think are too high for what they are. Don't even get me started on Charlotte Tilbury. I just, I just don't. Charlotte Tilbury's not my vibe. Like I can't, I, I couldn't tell you why. Like I don't think, you know, in a canteen, I don't think I'd sit with that brand. You know, I'd kind of like, I might nod and say hello, but I wouldn't sit with them. These indie brands are just, Blend Bunny is a higher price point, but again, the quality in those, like the, the blend, the gradients, the, the shimmers in Longing are just wow. And I, know, I don't want to digress, this is meant to be a review of Botanical by Beauty Bay, so I don't want to get carried away and go off on a tangent, but I just want to sort of highlight how it's insane to me that you've got a brand that's producing this kind of quality for this kind of price point when you've got your Hooders, your Charlotte Tilbury's, your Natasha Denona's, your Pat McGrath, Chanel, your Tom Ford, your Gucci's, who are all producing makeup at prices that make your eyes want to water. Why? Don't get me wrong, I, I do love luxury beauty products and every now and again I think I probably will splurge on it. I'm keeping an eye out, I'm very intrigued to see what the next Mothership palette is going to look like. Is Pat going to give us more pink and more gold? I would imagine I won't end up buying it unless Pat throws a curveball and discovers some new colours in the rainbow. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm rambling now, I'm rambling now, but that's probably because I'm a bit overexcited because I've just paid £16 or £20 palette that's performed like this. Oh, I haven't shown you close-ups of the look. Right, let me zoom you in. So this is the first look. And what do you know it? I've gone purple again. I think I have a serious problem. I do. I need help. You know, like purple, purple anonymous. Um, and it's always this eye as well. But um, in fact, I'll, I'll come a little bit closer so you can see. But that's like a really nice day into night look. Like you could wear this during the day and then maybe with a nude lip and then take off the lip and amp it up with a purple toned, just a more vampy look. Like I think Diva, Diva from MAC I think would look really nice with this. And this is the green look, 
which again is just really like that and I, I just I really like that matcher that I've used to soften the edges of myrtle which is a stunning shade of green on its own anyway but yeah these are the two finished looks which I can't believe I almost forgot to show you close up I'm a bit scatterbrained today I do apologize I'm all over the place as is the weather maybe it's because of the weather that's probably what's throwing me off I won't keep you any longer I think it's it's clear to see what my views are of this palette I think for that price point you can't go wrong um, and it's limited edition it's one of those if the colours speak to you it's worth taking a punt I mean £16 and it's beauty bay there's always a colour as if to tell me to uh, shut up, both my camera battery died and my memory card were full at pretty much the exact six split second. I believe what I was saying before I got cut off is that it's a £16 palette, it's 20 shades, it's from Beauty Bay who often have discount codes. In fact, today they've sent me a discount code saying get an extra 10% off. With that in mind, I think I'd say it's a no-brainer. If you've got Born to Run, I don't think you would necessarily need this palette. If you're a collector, you might think, I want it anyway. But if you're trying to be a bit more sensible and not perhaps repeat vibes or shades or themes you've already got, then you do not need Botanical if you have got Born to Run. I will do, I'll probably do a short that's got some comparisons between the two palettes and also in between, uh, I mean it's dark now, you can tell that the lighting has completely changed. Um, it's not just a cloud issue, the sun is just no longer in the sky. But while I was waiting for my battery to charge and while I was deleting some footage from my memory card, I swapped my lipstick over for Diva so you could see what I mean by changing your lip to go to a more vampy look and I'm going to stop now because it's a, a few hours later than when I started filming and um, it's not far off my bedtime so I'm going to say bye for now I hope you have found this video useful and hopefully I will see you again in a video in the not too distant future take care bye bye